VBA programmers, do you want to write code to work with your Microsoft Excel workbooks, worksheets, and cells? Maybe to automate a tedious process? This video will begin a series on just that. This is the seventh video in Comprehensive VBA. Recent videos have been about Microsoft Word, but this video will begin a series on Microsoft Excel VBA. We will review how to use the VBA editor and run macros. Then we will use the Excel application object to get to the three major object types within Excel, the workbook, the worksheet, and the range. To open the VBA editor from Excel, hold two keys down, the Alt key and the F11 function key. We will be writing subroutines here and then executing them with the F5 function key or the green play arrow. For instance, sub demo1 enter, VBA fills in parentheses for you, and an end sub. You certainly could have typed the parentheses and end sub yourself, but you will find that the VBA editor tries to help you out. For a quick review on running macros, type message box hello world inside the sub we just wrote a shell for. With the cursor inside the subroutine, press the F5 key or the green arrow. Now let's get on with the Excel specific stuff. The application object is central to Excel VBA. You can get to all the Excel specific stuff through the application object, except for enumerations, which are global. For instance, from the application object, you can get to the active workbook, dim WB as workbook, set WB equals application dot active workbook. From the application object, you can get to the active sheet, dim WS as worksheet. Set WS equals application dot active worksheet. And from the application object, you can get to the active cell. Dim C as range. Set C equals application dot active cell. These are the three fundamental object types you will be working with in Excel VBA. Workbooks, worksheets, and ranges. Active means the one that the user has selected. Workbooks are the files you open. Workbooks have several worksheets, sheet 1, sheet 2, etc. So a user can have several workbooks open, but only one of them will have the focus. This is the active workbook. Worksheets are contained within workbooks. Worksheets are the tabs across the bottom of the Excel workbook, such as sheet 1, sheet 2. Workbooks contain the cells into which you type values and formulas. Worksheets can also contain chart objects. Finally, the third primary object type you will work with frequently in Excel VBA is the range. An individual cell into which you type a formula or value is a range. A group of cells is also a range. So ranges exist within worksheets. Ranges are where your data is. Worksheets and workbooks are containers for ranges. So that's it for this time. We covered how to run your Excel macros and the three main object types in their purposes, workbooks, worksheets, and ranges. Next time, we will cover coding for workbooks. Check out the rest of the videos in this series and on my channel, CBT TJM. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.